Hey everyone, thank you for following me. My name is Julianne Condia and I appreciate you being a part of my social media. And I just seek to inspire, I seek to empower, and I just seek to show you how to live outside your limiting self-beliefs and how to conquer that and how to live on the other side of fear and to do things in life that matter and help you live on purpose. I want to talk to you today about fears with becoming a Beachbody coach. So if you don't know and you're, you're new to following me, I have been a Beachbody co coach for two and a half years and I didn't know anything about Beachbody. I just jumped into it because I craved the community. I saw something about the community. It looked positive. It looked fun. I said, why not? And went for it. I haven't looked back since. Since then, I've lost 34 pounds. I am no longer addicted to the scale, so honestly, I have no idea how much I even weigh. And my mindset has completely changed. I am a positive person. I don't bash myself anymore. And I just see this limitless possibility for me. And not just for me, but for a bunch of other people. Not to mention, I did leave my full-time teaching job and more than replaced my income. And that's just a bonus. When I get to see my team replacing their income, income or getting you know $700 a week checks that is awesome it is just crazy because I said yes to an opportunity that flipped my life upside down and I've been able to confront my fears and I've been able to see past a bunch of obstacles which I think is just super cool so Beachbody really is all about becoming healthier and happier in so many ways. I want to talk to you about some fears because it is normal. It is normal to have fears to do something that's different. It's it's really easy to be afraid of the unknown. It's really easy to allow your current circumstances of maybe not having a lot of money or maybe being really lazy or not quite having the motivation to make that change. That is normal. That is a normal thing that I experience with the people that I've mentored and the people that I've helped. So don't you dare feel alone in that sense. The difference is, is that they, they surpassed and just made a choice that even though they were feeling hesitant, even though they were feeling afraid of the unknown, that they just went and did it. So something that is a big fear for people becoming a coach or thinking about coaching is the fear of being salesy. And first of all, I don't want anyone on my team that is going to be salesy. I don't want it. I don't like that. What I want on my team is someone who's willing to work on themselves, transform them, themselves inside out, and share their journey. If you go look through my Facebook, I would hope that you would know me, that you would understand me, that you would know what my struggles used to be and where I am now and where I'm going. That is my hope, that you see that I'm inspiring and that I can show you and that you feel empowered. That is what I want on my team. So as far as feeling the fear of salesy, because do you want to know something that's really blunt and honest? When we do look at our newsfeed, what is it consumed with? Salesy stuff. And it has a nasty taste in our, in our mouth. Honestly, I'm not going to be judgmental of that to each his own, but to me, that is not how I want to run my business. That is not how I want my team to run their businesses. So think about it like this. When you text someone, do you feel unauthentic? Do you feel salesy? Do you feel not yourself when you're texting a friend or texting someone? No, you shouldn't. You should feel 100% genuine. That's the same thing with social media, with becoming a coach, and that's what we teach you because we do not want you to be salesy. We do not want you to market Beachbody. First of all, Beachbody doesn't need us to market Beachbody. Beachbody spends millions and millions of dollars coming up with their own ads, their own commercials and infomercials and all of those different things, and they do fine with that, with selling. But the reason they made coaches, because they were finding out that people weren't getting results. That is why they created this compensation plan. That is why they they made Beachbody the way that it is, is because Beachbody's overall mission is to help people become healthier and happier. So they didn't need anyone to help them raise money. So when we are on our team, we're not helping Beachbody raise money by being salesy. No. Beachbody and Team Happy and Fit, you're sharing your journey and you're owning your story. So the last thing you're going to do by being authentic and real, because you are getting real results, you are making real connections, you are in a real team of people that want to see you succeed, which 
really, I don't know where you'd get that in life, then that's how you connect with other people. It's making those real connections and it's not being salesy. You can't make connections when you are being so throw up -y of sales, in my opinion. So I get it. We're in this fear because all we see in our newsfeed are all of these salesy things and it's impersonal, it's not genuine. So you have that guard that you put up. So I'd hope that you would see my Facebook, my social media that I hope that has clicked where I think it's a fear in our head because of the things that we've seen, but I'm hoping that when you look at my social media, you're not seeing salesy. So to be successful as a Beachbody coach, it takes belief and action and consistency. And I want to mentor you. I want to help you. I want to teach you how to get over those self-limiting beliefs. But if you are willing to be genuine and you're willing to walk the walk and show other people what's possible for them, and that might be confusing to you. You may not quite know how to do that yet, but that's okay. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how to be so real and you're going to face things in your life and you are going to come out on the other side. Beachbody does not guarantee the success of, so if you were to look at me and be like, wow, Julianne more than doubled her income in one week, whatever. You know what? That's because I earned that. I showed up every single day. I worked on myself. I do my workouts every day. I drink my shake every day, which is legit by the way. And I am faithful to helping my team grow themselves mentally and I'm willing to invest in personal development myself to overcome those things. So if you're willing to do that, then that's how you can get the success you want. And the cool thing about Beachbody, it's a level playing field. So when I became a coach, I surpassed and outranked, if you want to say, the person I signed up to be a coach with. So it's not, oh yeah, like... It's just pyramid scheme, first of all, which is illegal, but it's all based on your own heart and hustle. And I think we come up with excuses of why we can't be successful. So if your big fear is you don't wanna be salesy, I totally get it. I think that social media has put that fear in us. It is not like that. And proof of that is just go look at my, my social media and see if you connect with me, see if you make a real connection with me, see if you feel inspired by me, see if you can do it too. See if, if my social media is telling you that you can do it too. Because really, there's enough success for us all. It doesn't play favorites. Success isn't above any of us. Isn't that cool and refreshing? I definitely think so. So if you're having some fears, I would love to talk to you about it. But the biggest thing is I get it. You're not alone. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to help bring clarity to feeling that way. All right, you guys have an amazing Friday. I hope that you all have an excellent weekend and just know that you can do anything. Be inspiring today. Live with intention today and be purposeful with the people that you meet and that you encounter. And if something bad happens to you today, it doesn't mean that you're having a bad day. It's just that mindset for that moment in time, okay? Uh, you're amazing. Thank you for following me and thank you for being a part of this journey and just so being so incredibly supportive. And I want you to know it's a two-way street. I'm here for you. All right. Talk to you all later.